and she's always been very determined. She'll give you 100%, whatever she does. And I do respect the hard work. I do respect that she's not big-headed and she's just, just Victoria. <laughs> In the last few years she's had more media attention, obviously a lot more in the press, a lot more in magazines. As a person she scrubs up very well. She comes over as a very normal, natural person, which she is. Fame has not affected Victoria one little bit. Victoria started about the age of nine. Her father had raced for many years and um, the rest of the family following in his footsteps. I personally never realised that she had particular talent on a bicycle. I'm not that perceptive, I don't think. Um, obviously, I noticed when she did have success, because very often she beat her brother. Well, leading up to the 2004 Olympics in Athens, I think Victoria had been hoping that she might, in fact, make the podium in some way or form. Um, but unfortunately, her hopes were dashed. When she got home, she was very upset, obviously, very emotional, and she threw the racing kit that she'd used into the dustbin. I felt that was a, a little bit drastic, and I retrieved it from the wheelie bin to wash it and keep it as a memento for her. We try and point out to her, whenever she has a little setback, that. You know, you can only ever do your best. When Victoria's not racing anymore, I should be absolutely delighted. I won't ever have to go through that thumping heart and head nearly exploding. I'm also, I, sh I shall be very pleased for her because it will mean that she'll have more of a normal life. The, do the things, all the things she's put off over the last few years. I think it's going to be great and I'm really looking forward to possibly a marriage sometime after the Olympics. If she was on the podium and, and had won gold, I would be ecstatic, um, relieved in some respects, and probably I'll cry. <laughs> P&G, proud sponsor of Mums.